Okay, welcome to Origami Bookmark. It's pretty easy. We're going to start out with a square. We're going to turn our square on its corner and make it a diamond. First thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put this bottom corner here. We're going to fold that up so it matches the top corner like this. Match your corner. Don't squish down right away. Make sure your corners match. Hold it. Slide your hand down and then do side to side so you get a nice flat crease. Creases are very, very important in origami. The next step is we're going to take the pyramid that we've now created, this triangle, and we're going to take this bottom corner here and this bottom corner here and we're going to be folding it up to this corner. Now the easiest way is to take your free hand, place it in the center between the two corners, and you're going to fold the corner up and you're going to match it with the top corner and then you slide your fingers down and crease that fold. You're going to do the same with the opposite side here this little corner we're going to take and we're going to fold that up to our top corner just like this and once again we're going to crease really really well all right, these were helper folds. They're going to help us put the bookmark together later. So we're going to open it back up. Now, at the top of the pyramid, you'll see there's two flaps. You're going to take the top, the first flap on the top, and you're going to make it touch the bottom of the triangle right in the center. Now, be careful. You don't want to go too far because if you do go too far, you will not be able to put your bookmark together. You stop on the bottom in the center, slide your hand up so the crease is nice and clean and side to side. Take your thumbnail and crease it down hard because that will help you with the next step. All right, now remember we're gonna bring those diamond back together like this. Now we're gonna take, this has now created a pocket by putting that little triangle down. We're gonna take this corner of the pyramid and slide it inside that pocket just like this. Now that'll work out good, but don't leave it sticking up too much because if it's leave, left sticking up, it won't stay together. So you want to keep feeding it down into the pocket until it stops and then you can crease it. You're going to do the same on this corner. You're going to bring it up, place it inside the pocket. So take it and put it inside the pocket like this, slide it all the way down as far as you can get it and crease it. All right, so this is our bookmark. And what you do to make it work is you take your bookmark and you need a book and you place the bookmark over the cover of your book. So if this is your book, and this is the page, let's say we were on, you slide your bookmark over the corner like this. And that way, when you're ready to read, it'll open it up right to the page you're on and you're ready to go. Now, another thing you can do with your bookmark is you can decorate it. So what you do is you take your bookmark, you make sure you have it so that the pocket is on the top this time and flip it over like a pancake. This is our decorating area. What we can do with this is we can put two circles or two ovals to make eyes. We can put two little circles inside. There's our eyeballs. If you want, you can put a letter V so we get a little bit of a face. You might know right now it kind of looks like a very special kind of Arctic bird called a penguin. So you can give him his little white belly if you want, you can draw his flippers on the sides. There we go. And you can decorate and color your penguin any color you want. So this goes onto your book this way, and now we're ready to go. Depending on the size of your paper is the size of your bookmark. I hope you had fun making a bookmark with me today. Have a good day.